this video, I've got a quick tip for you about play action and something that I think is really important when we talk about the bigger picture of do you flip your offense, do you not flip your offense, when to run play action, why to run the play action the way you want to run it. And this is actually something that Trips Tied In is going to help us kind of illustrate along with Bunch. And then I'm going to get back to the double stuff in just a second. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day, trying to help people get better at Madden. So if you want to get better at Madden, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe. If you want to get my offensive and defensive eBooks, um, those I think are the best way to get better at Madden because they give you not only the why, not only the how, but the what and everything in between that. And so if you want to learn all of my schemes, got over 28 offensive and defensive guides you can actually get access to all of those by joining our patreon for just 10 bucks that's where you're going to get the best content that i have to offer so if you want to get access to that that'll be linked down in the description below okay guys so i wanted to talk about play action as a concept and i want to really explain something that i think um, has been really slept on this year not really a lot of people have talked about this but this is something that you might want to know. Now, um, one of my favorite guys to study, one of my favorite guys to watch is Spamming Buttons because I feel like he actually literally created his offense from scratch and really built it around the premise of play action and how play action actually gets you better blocking. Now, this is something that has gone back to like, this is like an old school thing. Like I, I, I'm trying to remember the year. I want to say it was Madden 13. Uh, when I first started doing YouTube in Madden 12, um, if, if you got like a, a, a DTA gap blitz, one of the ways to help pick that stuff up was to run play action because the blocking would not get as dumbed out because it was a different system entirely than standard pass blocking. Well, the same thing is basically true in Madden 22, especially on next gen. If you want to pick up loop blitzes, if you want to pick up some of that stuff, you want to run play action. But most people also don't quite understand why a play action works versus why a play action doesn't, which I'm really excited to, to jump into that. So um, if we come out and trip side in, we could come out in any play. So I'm going to set, um, I've got these two play action audibles, and then I'm going to come out in PA counter go. And what you're going to notice with this blocking is you're gonna see a really quick handoff animation and then I can get out of it and I can go and I can make my reads and do what I need to do. So that is part of it. And then the other piece of this, and this is why it's really good for trips tied in and bunch tied in and some of those formations is because let's say the blitz is gonna come off the left side or the, off the left side. My tight end is on the right side. So I don't have anybody on the left side that's really dedicated to picking up pressure. But you'll see this guy becomes like basically psychic and you'll see if the pressure comes off left, he's gonna almost always pick that pressure up and give me plenty of time to make my read. And why is that? Because again, he's gonna cross the face of the quarterback super, super quick. Now I wanna show you something that I just honestly kind of stumbled upon and wanted to break down because I think that it's really, um, it's really important. So if I flip this play, I want you to see something. So we're gonna set up the same blitz. We're gonna to try to send it off the right edge here. And what you'll see is this play action animation is significantly different. Now, I was still able to get the blitz picked up, but my pocket's all messed up and everything is just going haywire. <laughs> like, everything is going haywire, okay? If you have a right-handed quarterback, okay, really important. I'm not quite sure why this is the case. But if you have a right-handed quarterback, if your running back is on your right side, you're going to get a faster play action animation than if you are on the other side. Now, this was something in Madden 20 that a lot of people use to their advantage. Joke, actually, this was why Tress Way, the punter, was so popular in Madden 20 because if you had a certain, depending on the hand that you were handing off, if you were a left-handed quarterback or right-handed quarterback, if you were a left-handed quarterback, you would get faster handoff animations, I believe, to the left side. If you were a right-handed quarterback, you would get faster handoff animations to the right side. So if you wanted to run to the right, you would put in a right-handed quarterback. And if you wanted to run to the left, then you would put in a left-handed quarterback. Well, in Madden, um, especially with a passing quarterback, because we have to put abilities on them and everything like that, we're not going to be able to run two quarterbacks, or at least, you know, kind of it's not really smart to do that, at least in my opinion. So I want to show you how this is illustrated in bunch real quick. I'm going to come out in bunch, a bunch play. And this is an interesting uh, concept for bunch. So I'm going to come out in PA post. Now, what you'll see with this play here is when I snap the ball, you see how it's a really delayed handoff animation. And it just takes me a while to get it. I can't get in and out of the animation quickly. And it just takes a little bit more time. But if I flip this play, I want you to see what's going to happen. So I'm just going to flip the play. Now my running back is on this uh, right side. And watch what happens. You'll see here a much quicker animation. I'm able to get out of it and I'm able to kind of throw 
you know whatever I want to throw as you can see now there's also different types of animations in terms of play actions like PA counter drill versus PA shot wheel I'll show you so if I go to PA slot corner you'll see that this you see his animation here now this is something really important as we think about some of our other formations so you'll see here he comes through real quick and he's able to get into the pass protection uh, play now if I were to come out in trips tight end PA crossers I want you to see this so let's say I come out in this PA shot crossers the running back is still on the right side of the screen but the biggest issue and I'm actually uh, it's very frustrating you'll see right here and I'm gonna set up a blitz so you can kind of see it a little better one of the problems uh, with this so if I'm trying to send edge pressure off of this side right here I want you just to watch you'll see that this running back is going to take forever to get out and a lot of times you see how he can get a quick shed and now he's in at the quarterback that's one of the major major challenges with something like a gun trio y flex or something like that and i'll show you um with those with those pa shot crossers um it just it's a different play action animation it's not the same play action animation uh, that you get from this but let's say for example i go to gun tight now you'll see and again this is just a, a labbing thing but you see how his animation is like in and to the cross if i go to pa shot crossers i'll show you real quick you'll see this now notice what he is in you see here that it is it's not down into the side it's just straight down so what you want to do is let the play action animation actually run but as you can see that can happen so you've got to be a little bit it takes a little bit of lab work to figure this stuff out and it takes a little bit of but but basically the takeaway is if your quarterback is right-handed don't run your play action to the other side you want to actually run your play action plays with uh with your running back on the right side so i'll give you a really practical example um, i'm going to go to the gun doubles pa shot play it's a great bomb concept and basically you know you, you know what just for fun i'll give you the bomb we're going to put circle on a smart routed out and you'll see against cover three this is really good because we've got the best pass protection and the fact that we've got this play action and we've got this slot post which a lot of formations don't have slot skinny posts and as you can see it's a very good play uh to be able to bomb the cover uh the cover three and, and probably the cover two as well but what you'll see here is if i flip this play and now my play action is coming from this side of the field you'll notice here he still gets a, a quicker animation just because of the play action but it's nowhere near as effective as it was on the other side because the quarterback now has to come left turn around there's a lot of time that takes place and so let's say you want to try to throw this snap throw out route you'll see here that if i have it like this i can throw that out route but if I, if I have it the other way, I wouldn't be able to hit that because my feet are now not in a way that I can actually get rid of the ball, okay? So hopefully this video has helped you understand uh, just a little bit about play action. I'll show you one last thing with this, um, this PA read. I wanna show you, so this is a great play. Like let's say you wanted to run like a running back screen. This would be a great play to do that out of because you got this little shoot route to the back. So you'll see here, look how long it takes me to get the ball out that's a real clunky play it's not a real smooth um, play and it's also really just not um, that good in terms of again what I was getting at in terms of just having the speed of the animation um, you know benefit you so now we'll show you this version of it and what you'll see here he's gonna shoot right through he gets to the flat I can hit him and now I got a lead blocker and as you can see it's a lot better of a concept all because of the different handedness of the quarterback so i hope this video helps you kind of see um, some of the things that you might want to be aware of just in terms of your pass protection and your play action you really ideally don't want to run if you're going to run a play action play with your running back on the left hand left hand side i'll give you one example of a of the what i believe the best one is which is the trip side npa post if you want to do that where you have the running back on the other side of you you really what you want to do is you want to you don't want to cancel it right away you just want to wait just a little bit longer so we'll just set up kind of a basic route combo but you'll see here i'm going to wait and then do it and you see now he comes out ready to throw and now i can throw this a little bit better so anyways that's something that you can mess with and lab with but my personal piece of advice would be you want to run your formation with your running back to the right side of the hand of the quarterback 
if you want to have the threat of play action and it also actually which is uh, another pro tip here is it gets you significant and i mean significantly better run blocking you'll get significantly better run blocking out of shotgun if you're handing the ball off to the right versus if you're handing the ball off to the left so thanks for watching these are some of the kind of high level tips and things like that that we break down in our patreon if you want to get all my ebooks and all my exclusive stuff over there there's a link in the description below where you can click on that'll take you right over and you can get signed up for that thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time